The Sheffield Diocese is called to grow a sustainable network of Christ-like, lively and diverse Christian communities in every place which are effective in making disciples and in seeking to transform our society and God's world. Our diocese serves almost 1.2 million people across South Yorkshire, from the Pennines to Humberside, from the outskirts of Barnsley to the borders with Nottinghamshire and Lincolnshire. It covers 176 parishes and 209 churches. There are 136 paid clergy, 191 licensed readers, and many other lay people who are trained for pastoral ministry, children's work, and evangelism. Countless other volunteers offer active Christian service without any formal accreditation. We also have the privilege of offering a Christian education to about 8,381 children and young people in 40 schools and academies. Some of our parishes serve quite affluent communities. Others serve areas of great social deprivation. These include urban housing estates, prosperous suburbs and rural contexts. Some churches are large, some are small. Together, we're all one family of Christian disciples, tasked with sharing the love of Jesus Christ wherever he has placed us. We've begun to see encouraging signs of numerical growth in recent years. New congregations have been planted. Fresh expressions of church are being pioneered. Parishes of every churchmanship are seeking to make Christ known by sharing the good news of Jesus. Our cathedral has undergone a major reordering to assist its mission in the 21st century. We have much to thank God for. In order to support the mission of the diocese, each parish is asked to contribute to a common fund. This is the money we pool together for the good of the whole diocese, as together we seek to grow a sustainable network of growing, lively and effective Christian communities in every place. Without this mutual sharing, we cannot maintain the mission of the gospel in places where there's significant deprivation or where populations are small where congregations cannot meet all their ministry costs, the rest of the family supports them through common fund. It would be wrong to deprive some areas of Christian ministry just because they're poor. As one extended diocesan family, every parish puts money into the common fund and every parish receives money from it. Almost two thirds of our diocesan income is raised through the common fund. In 2013, it costs £7 million to support parishes and their work. It all goes into providing and supporting the ministry of these parishes. Common Fund is a mechanism whereby the body of Christ can function together in unity. One of our net receiving parishes is Kilnhurst St Thomas in Wath Deanery, where local minister, Reverend Andrew Brewerton, operates a series of thriving youth clubs and fresh services to engage local people. Here in Kilnest, we recognise that ministry costs money and often the costs of ministry are greater than the local church can support. Our parish is one of the more deprived areas in the diocese, where family incomes are generally smaller and people have less to live on. And that makes us a net receiving parish because the cost of our ministry and mission are greater than the amount we're able to contribute to the common fund. And so we're very grateful for the support we receive both from our partner churches and from the wider diocesan family. Thanks to the generosity of others, we find ourselves well resourced and able to offer more traditional and some fresh expressions of church. And we run groups for toddlers and teenagers. Uh, we've got a lunch club for older folk and we run groups and courses for those thinking about Jesus or new to the Christian faith. And then there's Fresh, our tea time church, especially for families, offering different opportunities on Sundays and through the week to share the good news of Jesus and to help people know him and follow him for themselves. And under God, we've been thrilled to see that happen as men and women and boys and girls have been coming to faith in Jesus, building God's kingdom bit by bit, seeing some modest growth over the years. And that's all been made possible by the generous financial support of our gospel partners and the wider diocesan family contributing to the common fund. In order to help parishes aspire to greater mutual generosity, 
common fund doesn't tell a parish what it must give, but asks each parish to consider prayerfully what it receives and can offer back to others across the diocese. How does this work in practice? There are four lines in a simple sum to help each parish to give realistically. A. Line A is the actual ministry plus support costs for your benefice, i.e. a parish or more than one parish sharing an incumbent priest. This sum includes the cost of what an incumbent priest gets paid, housing provision for our clergy, pension contributions, an amount towards the ongoing training of tomorrow's clergy, plus a contribution to the services and support provided by the diocese. This support includes diocesan advice with parish development, assistance with youth and children's ministries, and help with Christian giving. It includes the management of our education department and advice to our schools. It includes help with planning advice and adapting, repairing and maintaining our church buildings. It includes vital advice in legal matters, employment, media and safeguarding. It includes our diocesan training courses and the selection and guidance of people offering for ordination. Every parish can turn to our team based in Diocesan Church House, Rotherham, for advice and support. Common Fund keeps all this in place as a resource for every parish. The sum total of ministry and central support costs are explained to each benefice so that it can fully understand the costs involved in providing ministry and support, all of which comes out of our Common Fund. The second line, B, is the amount given to the diocese from the church commissioners and pastor parishes based on local deprivation factors. Line C is the amount your parish or parishes gave to the diocese last year. We expect every parish to more than match last year's amount, at least by an amount equal to inflation. We are, after all, committed to growth. A minus B minus C equals D. The bottom line now shows any shortfall which your sister parishes in the diocese had to make up for you last year. For some, this bottom line will reveal that a parish gave more into common fund than it received. For this, we're most grateful both to God and to them. We now ask each benefice to reduce the amount that others in the diocese had to pay for them, or in the case of a parish that gave more than they received, to continue with this wonderful generosity and maintain the surplus that goes to help others. The Reverend Abigail Thompson carries out ministry in Clifton St. James Rotherham Deanery, a net receiving parish that's growing and developing new initiatives and mission. St. James Clifton is a church um, in a great fun area, full of variety, um, but I guess if you look at government statistics, it's quite a deprived area. Um, there's a lot of people who are unemployed, um, a lot of people who don't have any kind of qualifications whatsoever. Um, sometimes it can feel a bit depressed. So the church exists within, within the areas of Clifton, East Dean and Eastwood. When I arrived at St James Clifton it was clear to me that there were a thousand things that we could do as a church and there was a great thirst within the congregation to serve the community. But I was very aware that we were quite a small congregation and only a certain number of people and so I thought a lot about what would really make a difference in this area um, and I turned to something that was a passion for me which was music and music was how I came to faith myself so it seemed a good place to start. Um, we started with a youth choir and then we had a community choir for adults as well. And each year we run a, a summer holiday project. Um, we involve students from Jesus College Oxford and it runs for a week and we have around 40 or 50 children come and take part in a production. So week by week we have children and adults coming together to sing in the church. And every year we have a grand project which fills the church, brings lots of people in from the local community. What I really wanted to do at St James's was fling open the doors and help people to see that this is a place where they can come and have fun and be welcomed and it will be warm and it will be exciting. 
And so what we do is we run all these choirs and we have all these activities, but we invite people to come and join us in our worship as well. Um, some people come, some people don't, but more and more in our worship there's music, there's singing of all different kinds. And I'm finding that people are increasingly finding this church a less strange place to be. It's becoming part of the heartbeat of the community. Um, coming to church isn't odd anymore. That's what I really want to see. Our vision is that in the next few years, we'll become a diocese that's fully sustainable and properly resourced. We'll then be well placed to carry out our mission. Our strategy is explained in the four key strategy documents written by our diocesan bishop. These are all available in print or to view and download on our website. We have a vision of a diocese where all our parishes and churches are growing in health, strength, numbers and generosity. Your contribution to Common Fund is a major step along the way.